What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with another 2-in-1 AEW action figure review on the AEW and Rival Collection Series 11 Adam Cole and Darby Allen figures. This is our first time ever getting Adam Cole from AEW and Jazzwares. Very excited for the figure, but also not so excited, which we'll get into, of course, as we, uh, you know, eventually dive into the review, get deeper into the details. This is a number of Darby Allens, but it is a bit different than ones we've seen in the past, and it's an interesting take. Really excited to see see how that is because Darby Allen has some of the best figures that Jazzwares and AEW have made together so I am actually quite excited for both of these figures which is why we are only doing a two-in-one today and it's very weird because if you guys noticed Jungle Boy did not ship with this set if you have gotten your set of these figures I only got five I did not get Jungle Boy I don't think Ringside Collectibles has Jungle Boy but they have the rest of the set which of course you can go over there and grab your own wrestlingfigures.com using code MDTOYS save yourselves 10% save some money over there Anytime you order, man, if you go to check out and you see the promo code BAR, just hit MD Toys. MD T O Y S. Apply the coupon, select priority shipping. It'll basically, Oma, just depending on how big your order is, you can end up getting free priority shipping using code MD Toys if your order is big enough. Nonetheless, man, very excited for these figures. I don't know what's going on with the Jungle Boy, but we can't worry about that today. Let's get into these figures, man. Adam Cole, one of my favorite wrestlers in the world, looking very good right here. Can't wait to crack him open. Name on the side, image of the man there there number 95 AEW logos all around as you guys know gold foil at the top on the back you get Cole the signature the figures in the wave I guess not him though and then, of course, you do have Darby here in his half sting, half Darby Allen face paint, which looks good. You get a couple of accessories here. Darby Allen down the side. Darby Allen right here. Unrivaled collection, number 99. Number 100 is Jungle Boy. He's not here. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I'm over it now, though. On the side, Darby Allen there. Series 11, another image of the talent there. DA signature there. Rest of the figures as we've covered. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging for Adam Cole and Darby Allen, man. Again, very excited. We're going to crack them out. Take a look at them on the rotating base. Find out what these guys are about, if they're worth a damn, if they're amazing, or somewhere in between. We shall find out now as we crack them out of their packaging. So here's Darby Allen and Adam Cole on the rotating base. Liking what I'm seeing, man. Have some issues with them, of course, as we'll dive into. But overall, liking what I'm seeing. I like some differences that we got going on right here. Finally glad to have an Adam Cole figure in the AEW line. Will it compete with the Elite 92? We're going to find out here today, man. Should be an interesting comparison. We're going to compare to all the Mattel Adam Cole Elite figures. And we're going to compare Darby to the rest of his collection that we've seen so far from AEW and Jazzwares. But we won't know unless we dive in, man. Let's get into Darby Allen's accessories and Darby Allen, Then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Adam Cole's accessories and Adam Cole, baby. All right, man, so for Darby Allen's accessories, you get some interchangeable hands and you get two, I guess, weapons slash regular items here. You do get a bat, which is something we've seen a few times before with Sting, right? It's the same mold as the previous Sting figures. You do get the nice Sting bat in the matte black color. It's pretty stiff. I don't think you'll have any problems with warping. I guess it's possible, but you could just take a hair dryer to it if that's the case, but it's nice. It's a nice mold. It only fits in his left hand, though, because, uh, his other hand right here is a little bit wider and it can grip the fat end of it but it's not going to grip you know the regular handle of a baseball bat like this side will if you guys can get that and uh, speaking of these hands you have your left hand which is taped all the all the tape is sculpted on which is nice it's got some good details in there it's painted nice and everything you got the hand tat on there for the skeleton hand or the bone hand then you do have drug on this hand and then the other hands are going to be his fisted hands which also have the same sculpted tape on there in the white color and then you have the tattoo on there with the drug free kind of hard to make up the free but it is there but there's his interchangeable hands and the last accessory which is kind of weird is this light green translucent or transparent kind of glow it kind of looks like it glows a little bit i don't think it does but it's kind of random how we get this bottle my brother says it's from the entrance where he threw it through a window or something i don't even remember that to be honest i remember the match but i do not remember that moment but you do get this weird bottle kind of wish it was more realistic or just straight clear with nothing in it you know kind of like adam page's bottles and, and glasses and stuff like that that we've seen, but I don't know, kind of a different accessory, I guess. It just kind of seems out of place, maybe, with its coloration, how everything else is kind of realistic, and then this is just kind of thrown in there, I don't know, but you do get the bottle accessory, which is unique to some other things that we've seen before. So getting into Darby Allen, man, starting out the head sculpt. I like the head sculpt. You know, Darby Allen has very similar head sculpts. I apologize for, like, the exposure, but you can kind of make out some of the details here. Like, it, it has, like, a, like, you can kind of see the paint strokes or, you know, whatever is going on with the face paint there, 
whatever, you have the half Darby Allen, half Sting face paint, which is a really cool idea. I thought that was brilliant when they did it. He has gray hair, which I don't know if that was accurate for the night or white hair, but it's always supposed to be blonde, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember that specific detail. Wasn't that matching like black and white too? I don't know, but head sculpt does look good. I like the eye painted. You know, he likes turtles. We all know. You got the loose necklace on there. I feel like this tattoo is too dark. It's way darker than it used to be. It's like they use the same color for all the tattoos. They don't make some darker, some lighter. So the skeleton arm negative space tattoo right here looks really damn good. I really like the light. I love the way that looks. I just want a Darby Allen with all of it on there. You guys can see my biggest issue here. Look at that right there. That is, that is just simply god awful. That's god awful. That cannot happen, man. Which is why I feel like this is a new, newly manufactured torso and arms for Darby Allen. And this isn't the exact same because I've never had that issue with Darby Allen before. But you have the nothings over to your underground tattoo. You have the okay there it is you have relentless on the back of the neck of course which looks good you do have these new pants here not the short shorts but you get the studded belt great looking like army green cargo pants here with the rips and tears in it that has a lot of good sculpt in it really genius idea to make the knees this black color instead of having you know the green on the back i think that was pretty ingenious let's go ahead and make the knee joints black and then you do have these newly sculpted lower legs which do not have any boot cut whatsoever it's just the shin cut but it's a nice sculpt and all this stuff looks good man i actually i like this figure but I'm kind of disappointed in it. Now, as far as articulation goes, it's a Darby Allen, so you know it's all good. Like, it feels good in the hand and everything like that. You do get the double-jointed knee. You get the thigh cut and the shin cut. You just don't get any ankle articulation, but you do get the ankle pivot, and you can go down and up with it, which the feet are pretty small, as they always are on Darby. It's just, I don't know, man. I really wish that, uh, like, a figure feels phenomenal in hand. He can articulate with the best of them, but that loose, the loose arms really get me. Like, why is that happening, man? That cannot happen. And I really wish he had boot rotation, but I do like a good shin cut, you know what I'm saying? I don't know which I'd rather have, honestly. Maybe we'll know later, I don't know. Nonetheless, let's get into some Darby Allen figure comparisons. And for your Darby Allen figure comparisons, here is the Unrivaled 11 Darby Allen up next to the Series 3 Unrivaled, the Series 1 Unmatched, the Series 1 Unmatched Chase, and then the Ringside Exclusive Coffin Drop. And this is what I was talking about, man. Like, see, this is the Coffin Drop. Look at the tattoo difference here. This is more, like, maybe realistic. It's kind of like a light brown gray, and then you have the darker. I don't know which I like better. I feel like this is probably more accurate, but look at the chest tat. See how much more subtle and realistic this looks compared to this? How all the letters run together on the new one over here? I don't know. And Just look at this right here. Look how buttery smooth this is and like there's no looseness here. You feel like tight, like this is, you can't feel it, but you can just tell that this one's way more firm than this one right here. See that? Clear difference. Clear, clear difference, but it is cool to see all these up next to each other, man. I think the only one I'm missing as far as loose, I have every Darby Allen men on card, but I need to get a 1 of 500 unreal rival Darby Allen Chase to have loose and then I'll have every Darby Allen I do believe. And then for another figure comparison, here is the Walmart exclusive Sting AEW Luminaries figure and it is cool to see these up next to each other, especially if you get into the face paint. So you know you got the half and half there and they're all matching together. I do believe this is from the same match. I am I'm more than positive, but who knows, you know, these days but it is cool to have Sting and Darby up next to each other and we also have that two pack coming soon of the two, even though I know we have plenty of versions of both, but it is cool nonetheless to see these up next to each other and have a, no, a nice little comparison. So getting into Adam Cole's accessories, man, let's start off with the... Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna use this as a... You know what I mean? I mean, we know how I feel. It, it is a cool jacket in terms of design, but uh, I love all the logos on it and the sculpt is solid, but, you know, you're gonna be stuck in this pose. You're not gonna be able to do his entrance. You're not gonna be able to have the hands or arms out by the side or up in the, you know, the, the Adam Cole baby hands. You're not gonna get it, man. But Jesus Christ. Do me a favor. Go over to Instagram if you guys want this jacket and cloth form and hit up PWR Lucha. Tell him MDT or My Damn Toys sent you and just order this Adam Cole jacket from them because it'll be a lot better. Well, if it's the Jazz Wears, the rubber stuff has to go. You get another rubber accessory in the Adam Cole elbow pad. I tried it on the figure, and it looks fine. Just vanilla pose, but you're not going to be able to bend the arm, bro. Not going to be able to bend the arm. Outside of this, we do get interchangeable hands. You do get your Adam Cole baby hands or your entrance hands here, which look really good. It's a nice sculpt. And these are first-time-in-the-line hands. Never seen these before, and they fit snug and nice. Now, this shocked me. You get mic holding hands, but no mic. That really blew me away, to be honest with you. No mic here, but you do get the mic holding hands for Adam Cole. I mean, if you bought any other figure from the line, you're going to have a mic anyway. 
anyway. So that works out. And then you get your regular grippy hands that we've seen multiple times now from Jurassic Wares. And that wraps up Adam Cole Bebe's accessories. So getting into Adam Cole starting out the head, I think it's a decent little head sculpt. I think it favors him. Kind of like a throwback Mattel, you know? Like if, if Adam Cole was an Elite Series 10 or something like that. I feel like this is what the head would look like. I feel like the head's probably a bit oversized, but not the biggest deal. I know a lot of people were talking about the giraffe neck. I don't know if it's quite a giraffe neck. Sometimes I feel like it is a giraffe neck, and then sometimes it doesn't feel like a giraffe neck, but it can look down pretty good. I don't know. Random. Nonetheless, the beard color and hair color looks pretty good, and the likeness is definitely there. It looks like Adam Cole. If you ask me who this was, I can tell you Adam Cole. It looks like Adam Cole. He does have the sort of FTR Pac style torso that we saw from Unrivaled 3 and arms. I can tell these are the, this is the old body mold by how tight the, the arms are and how nice the arms feel. You do have his tattoo here on the side, which I believe is, I don't know, it's supposed to be flames or a dragon burst. I don't, I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be, but he's got black wrist tape. You have this wide looking crotch piece, but he does have the black and white gear here with the AC and the lightning logos and the baby on the back and the nice font. You got the, got the hand logos, nice stripes down the side, plain Jane gear, but nice size thighs. Adam Cole logos, baby logo here, and then you do have the black boots with the AC and the AC there. We've seen this boot mold many times before. Kind of a plain Jane figure. If Adam Cole was not Adam Cole, figure probably, figure probably wouldn't sell, you know? Figure probably would not sell, but we got to get into our comparisons. We got quite a bit to get into, so let's go ahead and compare him to a few things. So for your Adam Cole figure comparisons, man, you, you can't see, you, I don't know, like seeing the Mattel figures up next to the Unrivaled can kind of notice like the weirdness in the figure, how like the, the proportions of this figure are and how weird they look. Like he just looks so pudgy kind of. I don't know, it's just odd looking, man, but this is the just stock Mattel versus the stock Jazzwares. This is with no fix-ups or customs at all. This is the fan takeover over Adam Cole here. And you can just see the different takes on the character. God, this head's big too. Look at that. But then you have the fix-up. This is my Elite 92 fix-up Adam Cole where I put some, uh, I think it's, I think it's William Regal legs I do believe I put on this guy. I just think this looks a lot more natural and a lot more proportioned compared to this one. This one kind of looks like an overweight Adam Cole in comparison, but when you compare it to the rest of the line, that's kind of where it comes in here. But I think I'd rather have the Elite 92, all things considered. Here's the head sculpts. I just like the true effects on this one. I think this one is better. I like the head shape. I think it captures him better. Just overall, I, I I think I like the Elite 92 better there. But this is all of our different Adam Coles. You have the Fan Takeover, Elite 92, Elite 92 Chase, the Unrivaled 11, and then you do have the Elite 71, I think it is, with a head swap, or maybe that's the one it came with. I think that's the one it came with. And then we have the original Epic Moments 3-pack, Undisputed Era Adam Cole, which had a damn good head sculpt in itself, but it also has the William Regal slash Bo Dallas style thighs. I can't ever remember which ones they are, but it is cool to see see these figures up next to each other for Adam Cole to see the different comparisons between both companies and which one you guys like more. And then for another Adam Cole figure comparison, here is the Supreme Collection Britt Baker. You guys wanted to know what these two look like up next to each other. Here's what we got, and pretty nice height between the two. I just feel like, god dang, man, this toy just makes him look so pudgy. Am I wrong? I don't know, man. Any, like, Daniel Bryan, Adam Cole, mid-sized wrestlers like this, like, kind of like your standard sort of body instead of, like, crazy athletic or crazy ripped up guys are probably going to look a bit odd because of this torso. Maybe they just need to redo a, a new torso and arms and whole sculpt mold to get guys like that correct, but that's a nice comparison there. And then for a nice little group shot, here is Adam Cole with the rest of the Bullet Club all up next to each other, just for a little throwback. If you guys want to see all the AEW Jazzwares equivalent, if you wanted to dress them up, fix their gears, have some nice customs or something, you could do that, and I think that would be pretty dope. But yeah, nice to see these guys up next to each other all in the same figure form. But that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 AEW Unrivaled Series 11. 11, Adam Cole and Darby Allen review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the review. My overall thoughts are just, you know, that what I think makes the Adam Cole better than the Darby Allen, at least in this case, is it looks like they redid Darby Allen's torso and arms. You guys can tell by the tattoo how dark it is, which I, I don't really have a problem with it being that dark because the, ta the tattoo is pretty dark in real life. But this is an older torso that, that Jazzverse has used. You can tell that the Darby Allen is kind of newer. Or it's a new production because the arms are super loose. My other Darby Allens don't have any of those issues. That tattoos look better on the chest, or at least the nothing's over until you're underground. It runs together on this figure and looks a bit sloppy. I don't know if his hair is supposed to be gray or not. I hate that it doesn't have foot rotation or boot rotation instead of the lower shin. I think both would have been great, but I think in this case, I'd rather have the ankle cut over the shin cut, but I do love the shin cut. I don't know, actually. I I, I mean, I, ideally, you'd like both, but in this instance, I do enjoy... I, I, I like the shin cut. I just feel like it's a bit it's a bit weird when you have the, you know, the lower shoe cut mold and then you don't have that rotation 
in there, but I don't know. They're not perfect. I think Adam Cole, at certain angles, his his neck is definitely long, and then at certain angles, I think it looks fine. I don't know. I, just, I, I think I would prefer the Elite 92 Cole over this Cole, but I still do like this figure, and I think that it is a nice addition to the AEW and Rival line. I think that, you know, they don't make him super duper tiny, which I do enjoy, but I don't know, man. You guys can leave me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout out. I thought this was a pretty cool comment and a pretty good idea here from JD Guzman who says, I hope they have one basic per wave that has advanced articulation. That would be great for bigger stars. Pretty cool idea right there. I didn't even think about that. You know, you know how randomly Hulk Hogan or just a random one-off basic sometimes will have the old articulation of the arm cut and, you know, like different things like the ankle mold that, you know, the foot boot rotation or the ankle articulation. I think that would be cool. That's pretty a good idea there from JD. I thought that was a, a pretty great thing, man, to be honest with you. I thought that was pretty nice there. So huge shout out to JD for the comment, man. If you guys would like a, a shout out in a future video, leave me a cool comment down below, whether it's relevant or, or it makes me laugh or whatever the hell the case is, man. But that is going to wrap up this review. Kind of disappointed in the Darby Allen as far as the looseness in the arms and just some of the things about it. You know, that I guess, you know, you can't, you can't bat it. Nobody bats a thousand. Me and my brother say it all the time. Nobody bats a thousand. And uh, I think this is... I, I hate to say this, but this may, I think this is the worst Darby Allen they've made so far, and that kind of sucks, but I'm getting out of here, man. Have a blessed day. Gonna be a double upload day, because we got the massive box of horror figures, baby.